This is the 550 watt CX550 sold by Corsair with a current MSRP of 70 US dollars. It is a permanently attached ATX 2.31 power supply with a single fan mode. We tested one sample of this power supply and it stopped functioning before we completed our tests, so we cannot recommend it. For more information on the partial results and failures of the unit, see the product page on the LTT Labs website. The power supply comes in flimsy packaging and measures 150 by 86 by 125 millimeters. Considering cable flexibility, it has an effective depth of 150 millimeters. The CX550 is accompanied by the accessories as shown and supported by a five-year warranty. This warranty period is below average for a power supply of this class. The permanently attached cables are of acceptable quality. They have sleeved insulation and are moderately flexible. They may not be the easiest to handle while building and cable managing your computer. The provided cable set does not include any 12 volt high power cables, limiting the compatible GPUs to older generation or lower power models. LTT Labs conducted all of the following testing at an ambient temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The full test suite, including tests at extended temperature ranges, is available on the lab's website linked in the description. But before we get to the test results, here's a message from our sponsor. Thanks to Private Internet Access for sponsoring this video. We've been using their secure high-speed VPN for years, and you can too. Get a special deal by going to pia.com slash PSU circuit. The CX550 carries an 80 plus bronze rating, and we have measured 86% efficiency at 50% of its maximum rated load. That is equivalent to power supplies in a similar class. Throughout the full rated output power range of 550 watts, there was a 0.233 voltage drop on the 12 volt rail inside of ATX specifications and worse than other power supplies we've tested. The rest of the output rails met ATX specifications. This performance is as expected and will support a variety of component configurations. The peak to peak signal ripple of the fully loaded power supplies 12 volt rail was slightly high at 70 millivolts, while the 5 volt and 3.3 volt rails had a signal ripple of 41 millivolts and 33 millivolts respectively. Modern power supplies typically have no issue complying with ATX Ripple specifications, but this unit will be slightly less reliable for high performance components and cause more work for the VRMs. We test a power supply's resilience to momentary power dropouts and ripples using our brownout tests that interrupts the input power for a few milliseconds. This allows us to measure how long of a power dropout the sample can sustain without interrupting the output power. The CX550 was measured to withstand an 11 millisecond dropout at full rated load for both the 115 volt and 230 volt inputs. This is shorter than desired and may be more susceptible to poor power quality. The excursion test momentarily applies up to 200% of the rated load to test a power supply's ability to support components that may temporarily require more than the rated current. While this is not required for non-ATX3 power supplies, and the CX550 was not designed for these specifications, we conducted the test out of curiosity. The CX550 withstood a subset of the excursions, but failed with others. It is compatible with most systems, but may struggle with high-end hardware connected. We cannot recommend the CX550 because of its failures while testing the protections. For full specifications and test results, follow the link to the product page on the LTT Labs website.